Hello, you beautiful legends, and welcome to Blunt Force Healing Podcast, episode 387. Every time I mention the number of the episode, in this case 387, it means that this whole project, which is built from underpinning blog and this podcast is ongoing for 387 continuous days without any gap. So every single day I manage to write a post, a blog post, and record some form of a podcast, be it either audio version, which was the case for roughly about 200 and something episodes and then video and audio. If you're watching on YouTube or on Spotify video, you're the lucky bunch to see my beautiful face. (laughs) And this video episode is actually number, I think, 165 or something like that. So you can deduct 165 from 387 and you will get the number of episodes that were audio only. The whole idea of this podcast is, was and is for me to have a single core routine that I do my best to never break and so far as you know it seems like it's working well and if you're a person like like I was or I am uh, meaning you know on the procrastination side uh, being able to start new habits easily and excited but remain motivated for three four weeks max and then fade away losing the whole habit or routine then you understand and I understand you how hard it is for people with that kind of attitude to build anything that's lasting This blog and podcast was something that I wanted to prove myself with, that I can do it. And so far so good because I crossed the magical barrier of one year already of blogging and podcasting. It's probably not the most interesting blog or podcast, probably more on the boring side because it's a journal. I am journaling every single day, so as you can imagine, most of the days in life are not super exciting. Some of them are actually quite boring and dull or even disappointing, while others might be a little bit on more exciting side. In this case, this episode will be fairly short, we are already four minutes in. That was a long introduction, but as you probably can see behind the window, the weather is terribly gloomy today, as opposed to yesterday. We have a lot of drizzle, it's very wet, which makes life a bit more miserable, because if there's no sunlight, and everything is wet and gloomy and cloudy obviously energy levels are dropping and it is the case today as well but there is upside for people like myself that are interested in foraging for some wild food be it plants or mushrooms or animals. I'm not foraging for animals yet, 
I am planning to do a little bit of seafood foraging in the near future, but for now I mostly focus on mushrooms. And this is exactly where I'm going. Going to my lovely place that will still be probably quite on the dark side because it's very, very cloudy. <coughs> but I want to try and see if I can find some nice mushrooms there. Because it's rainy, the temperature is fairly good and there's not much to do at home. Well, there's always something to do at home, but I try to steer away from some of the chores from time to time. And to be honest, going into the forest beside the river is extremely relaxing, especially that this place is barely visited by any humans. Maybe some anglers that are going there for fishing, but usually not even I haven't spotted any walkers, even maybe somebody with a dog, but not on the any side, basically on the river side, but rather more into the forest. So we'll see what I can find. I found a couple of mushrooms yesterday evening before the sunset, but it was really, really dark uh, while I was there already after about half an hour it became almost impossible to see anything so I have a torch with me or whatever the additional light the headlight actually so I have my hands free if I need I don't expect to find much but again I'm not only foraging for food but, but I also like to forage just for the sake of it I love mushrooms their kingdom is very interesting it's very exciting it's a fantastic world to explore and regardless if they're the species are edible or inedible or poisonous all of them are beautiful and have their own distinct features and amazing you know, history behind them and in fact very far in the past of the earth history it seems like we came from the same branch as fungi so fungi or mushrooms are effectively our brothers and sisters on the genetic side which not many people might know about because the discovery itself I think is fairly fresh so it's not well known and even to this day some of the curriculums in schools are treating mushrooms almost like a part of the plant kingdom, which is untrue. Mushrooms are not plants, they never wear, they are closer to humans than to plants, or closer to animals than plants, and in fact, some of mushrooms are parasitic, some of them are saprotrophic, which means they just use decaying matter and decompose dead wood or other thing like even animals and some of them are basically mycorrhizal which means they cooperate with plants and trees to exchange nutrients and it might sound a little bit out of this world but yes information seems like mycelium which is basically what lies underground and releases the fruit bodies which we call mushrooms is responsible very often for the communication between tree roots and 
helps trees grow and uh, kind of communicate. Obviously, it's not communication in the way that we understand as human beings, but it's an exchange of certain molecules and energy in terms of impulses that make this world even more exciting and to be honest research of it is fairly fresh we as humans we were really focused on exploring and researching animals and plants but not so much mushrooms research on mushrooms on a fully fledged and funded level in universities and different uh, you know research programs and labs only started two three decades ago seriously so the mushrooms are now recognized as a potential future for our food shortage in terms of supplies they might help us with recycling much better than any technology we we have they are much faster and better in decomposing stuff and turning it into an actual useful organic matter, matter and also on the medicinal side they are already take, being taken as a supplements but there is much more there's a huge hope that they will help us fight a lot of cancers so I arrived now uh, I hope you have a great day or afternoon or evening wherever you are and I appreciate your time coming in and watching this 12 almost 13 minutes update let me see if I can find something interesting I am still uploading yesterday's episode it's it's on the YouTube it's just fine so you can watch it on YouTube or see it in the blog but for some reason Spotify doesn't want to it's failing when the file is uploaded but when it tries to generate the thumbnail or whatever the preview they call it it crashes and I don't know what the reason is so I tried to upload only a partial episode and we'll see if that works if not it seems like there's something wrong with Spotify itself thank you very much for being here stay tuned for tomorrow episode maybe just maybe I'll have something more exciting for you see ya